So, I am back working with the Devil Tales guitar neck and what I'm going to do now is, well, first of all, you'll see that this fretboard, well, it has masking tape on it, so it's a bit messy at the moment, but uh, when there's no tape on it, there are no inlays in there, there are no dots on the front of the fretboard, and that's the way I want it to be. I think it'll look quite nice just with the frets and a black fretboard. Um, but I will be putting, and this is what I'll be doing now, I will be putting some side dots on the fretboard into the binding. This is all very messy at the moment, still needs a bit of tidying up in, in many ways, but I'll do the side dots fairly early in the process and I'll just tidy them up when I tidy the rest of the, of the neck up. And in order to do this, I will need, obviously, my neck. And the dots themselves, uh, well, you can actually use a number of different types of material to make the dots. I'm using these little plastic rods. So the dots will be made of a plastic material, probably, it may even be PVC, it could just be the same kind of plastic as the binding itself, but black. Uh, I will be using my drill to drill the hole for the rods. Uh, I'll be snipping them off. I will be using acetone as an adhesive. So basically the surface of the rod will melt inside the binding and thus be stuck there. I will be using my craft knife just to cut the rod more carefully after I've snipped it. And I'll be doing some scraping, maybe now, maybe later, with whatever blade I use for scraping. In this case, I use a scraper. So, let's get started. Actually, there's one tool that I didn't mention, and that's a permanent marker. You could use a, a pen or anything, I guess, that leaves a mark. Uh, unless you think you're really good with the drill, and you'll get it right without any guides, but I wouldn't want to do that. So I've gone ahead now and marked where my side markers will be. So now let's get drilling. Be careful with your drill selection, with your bit selection. If you drill too small, you can always go larger. But if you use the wrong bit and drill too large, you're stuffed. You'll have to use a larger material for your dots or else do something drastic like throw away your binding and, and something awful will happen. Be careful. Um, I know this one works. It's a 1.5 millimeter bit because I've used it on a rough piece of of uh, binding already just to establish that it's the right size for this material that I'm using. So let us make some mistakes. No, it's not, it feels like it's moving, but it's not moving. Maybe, actually, I'm going to make an indentation with a nail just to be safe. I don't want that to go skating around and ruining my piece of work. And I'm not even going to edit this out. I want you to see that I'm, I am mistake prone and I'm taking steps to minimize that. And I'll do that for all the dots. So now that I have gently nailed these dot spaces, I will just drill them. And I've drilled until I can just start to see ebony dust coming out, which means I've just gone through the binding and just touched the fretboard with the drill bit. And I'll do that for all of these now. This is going to get boring. You don't want to watch me drilling all these holes. I'll come back to you in just a moment once I've drilled these. So, there are the holes where the rods are going to go. And it's a nice tight fit, which is the way you want it to be. You don't want it to be loose at all. Um, and the way that I'm going to make these stick in, as I said, is by using some acetone. 
acetone, as you know, or as you may know, you will know if you've watched my videos, dissolves, or melts at least, PVC and possibly other kinds of plastic as well. Uh, it's used to dissolve nail polish uh, when nail polish is being removed. And the way that I'm going to uh, attempt to do this, it, it worked well on my trial run, but then the drilling went more smoothly on the trial run as well. So I hope this goes smoothly, is I will just dip the rod in some acetone and then plunge it in to the hole that is prepared for it and then snip it off and then keep using the same rod until it runs out and then move on to a fresh rod until all the holes are filled and then I will go and cut them more finely to make the thing look like a neat, tidy job the way that I want it to be. And uh, it's going to give me grief. No, there we are. Now it has melted around the base a little. I don't know how well you can see that. It is slightly messy, but that's absolutely fine. That actually is a good thing. It means that when I scrape the surface, which I will, I'll be able to scrape it back to a perfect circle that will be completely filled with the black plastic. So now, as well, I may as well show you the rest of what I said I would do. So just, this is not a clean snip. This is just, whoop, need to get it in camera shot. Snipping it off. And then I will continue to put a rod in all of these holes in the same way. And then I'll come back and show you how I tidy that up. So, now there is like a forest of little black rods sticking out the side of my fretboard. Next I will cut those to the same level as the binding. And then we'll look at... Do I tidy it up now, or do I, do I tidy it up when I'm close to finishing the neck? In any event, uh, I will cut these down to the level of the binding next. Tomorrow, actually. It's late. It's late on a Sunday night. It's a work night. Uh, but to those watching the finished video, it will happen in seconds. So be right back. So I have snipped these all back just a little bit. All these plastic dots. And I've... Well, before I turned the camera on, just to make sure I wouldn't make a fool of myself, I, well, not entirely, there is still a little bit more scraping to do, but I just about finished one of these. That looks like a relatively nice flat dot, just a little bit ragged around the edges still, but it's not finished yet. So, here's how I did it, and it's very simple, really. I took my knife, first of all I thought, oh no, this is going to be difficult because the neck will get in the way. Um, Glenn, just turn the neck around. <laughs> okay, it's really not that hard. So let's just pick on this one. And it's just a matter of carefully... And actually this blade isn't as sharp as it could be. Just carefully cutting that level with the binding. And then taking your scraper. And it doesn't matter if I scratch the wood a little bit here at this stage, because that is not quite finished. It's a little... It's just a hair wider than it should be, so it's going to be scraped, so sanded back more anyway. Just scraping that until all the excess is gone. And what we're left with is that lovely, perfectly round drill hole, really. And it looks like that. Nice. So you just do those. Well, I will just do those. I'm not really telling you how to do this. I'm telling you how I did it. How I did it. If you want to copy me, that's fine. Um, so now I'll just go ahead and do the same for all of these. But that's all there is to it. It is quite an easy job. Much easier than fretting a guitar. Goodness.